What's up everybody? This is Swarup here and welcome to your ninth C programming tutorial. It's always good to be back. As you can see, I am finally using C free again after a very long time. Let's have a quick review of everything we have learned till now. We have seen what variables are, what data types are, how to print something using printf, how to take user input using scanf, and we have also seen how to write comments to our code to improve its readability. In this tutorial, we'll see how to build a basic calculator using two numbers uh, which are provided by the user himself. So let's declare two numbers. I'm declaring both to be integers. I'm naming them number one and number two. Simple enough. Now we let the user know that he has to enter a value by using printf. Printf within quotes will write enter the number enter number one I'll just remove the D and put a colon at the end and the semicolon at the far end and we'll take that value into number one using scanf percentile D ampersand number one let me just copy this whole thing control C or copy and paste this here and change this number one to number two so that we can avoid writing in all again till now is actually getting those two numbers from the user now we'll do the actual calculator part we'll print the sum value first print of percentile d number one plus number two will give the sum of these two numbers i'll, I'll put the black slash in at the end the new line character I'll just copy this whole line and paste it again and again and just replace this with minus here this with multiplication and this with division this with a reminder operator we'll see what is reminder in a while so we have done basically with the coding for the our calculator program now a little formality of course which is not necessary just return zero now I'm compiling this using F11 and as you can see I didn't get any errors just a warning now I'm running it using F5 and I get this black pop-up window which is enter number 1 and I enter 10 now enter the second number I will enter 2 and now I get a bunch of results corresponding to each of the code we written some difference product multiplication and division and the, and the remainder of course well the remainder is actually as you can see 10 is divisible by 2 perfectly so the remainder is 0 that's what it gives now I'm running this again well this time the first number is same as the last, but the second number I'll give it as 3 well the first three results as you can see here are as expected 13 7 and 30 but the fourth one the division result well it's not 3 right we all know that 10 by 3 is 3 point something not exactly 3 and the remainder is all is is also true but why is this 3 so we'll see now well here we have given that number 1 by number 2 we have declared both number 1 and number 2 as integers right so whenever the compiler sees an integer by an integer it's gonna assume that it has to give the answer as an integer so it gives so out of the answer which is 3.333 it only gives the integer part 3 and neglects the decimal form 0 0.3 0 0.333 so that is why we have only 3 always remember this whenever you are having a division always take care about this integer division otherwise you may get into a lot of problems that's the end of this tutorial Give a thumbs up if you like this video or comment your opinions or any questions you have so that I can answer them. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned because the next tutorials are going to be very important. This is Swaroop signing off. All peace.